Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. Here's a super quick video about a really useful Visual Studio feature that you might not know about. When working with JSON, you need to define the class or struct to hold the data with all of the names and types. So as an example, over here is the YouTube API, which has tons of endpoints. This one is for listing videos. And if we scroll down, we can see how it's structured. So here it is, this is the structure for the response. It's got a bunch of string fields and the page info and then an array with all of the items. And the items are all of type video resource which in turn then has this huge definition. So manually you'd have to build all of these films yourself if you want to get this JSON in your game or app. Or alternatively, there is a much simpler automated method that I just found out a few months ago. First thing you do is you get the JSON. So over here, I'm going to make a request on this endpoint. Let's just grab my like videos, then just run this query. And if there you go, here is all of the return data. So now what I can do is just pick up all of this JSON. So let me copy the whole thing, select it all and copy. And then over here in Visual Studio, here is the one second method. You just go up into edit, then go into paste special, and then paste JSON as classes. And if there you go, it creates the entire structure for all of the JSON in the clipboard. So our entire complex JSON object was automatically converted into a proper class definition. You can see that on the root object, we've got the kind e tag, which over here, yep, that's exactly what we've got. And then we've got an array of items for all of our video resources. And yep, here it is the same thing. So we've got items, so it has an object of type item. So here it is. It's got the kind e tag, then inside we've got the snippet, then the snippet has the channel ID, title description, and so on. So the simple method, just going into edit, paste special, and paste JSON as classes. This is super awesome. It really saves you a ton of work. For example, I have my live stream overlay, which is the YouTube API. When I first built it, I did not know about this. So I had to manually, painstakingly create the entire structure one by one. Knowing about this awesome Visual Studio feature would have definitely saved me a ton of time. So hopefully this quick video helps someone. And another quick mention, C Sharp also has the dynamic keyword. So one alternative is if you're using JSON.NET, you can do it just like this. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.